You've probably heard that marijuana isn't good for kids, but what does that actually mean? To answer that question, let's take a closer look at the endocannabinoid system to see exactly what it does, what marijuana does to it, and what that does to you. Spread throughout the brain, the endocannabinoid system is a biological system made up of chemical messengers called endocannabinoids, cellular receptors that communicate with endocannabinoids, and enzymes that break down endocannabinoids after they've delivered their messages. As endocannabinoids communicate with receptors throughout your body, they create balance and help regulate many body and brain functions, such as helping with memory, coping with stress, pain, and anxiety, and keeping hunger, body temperature, motor coordination, and alertness in balance. Now let's see what happens when marijuana is introduced into this balancing system. Made from a plant called cannabis, marijuana can be smoked, vaporized, or ingested through food or drink. Marijuana contains a chemical called tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC. Since THC's chemical structure is similar to naturally occurring endocannabinoids, the body allows THC to attach to endocannabinoid receptors in the brain. When THC enters the body, it overwhelms the endocannabinoid system, attaching to cannabinoid receptors and throwing the body and brain off balance, preventing endocannabinoids in your brain from doing their jobs. Endocannabinoids work like a well-conducted and highly synchronized orchestra, with each one playing at a particular time and place in harmony. When THC is introduced, the precise coordination is lost and thrown off. The endocannabinoids can no longer do their special job. This means your brain will have a harder time regulating all of those functions like memory, coping with stress and anxiety, and motor coordination. Plus, when using marijuana, some people may experience fear, anxiety, paranoia, or memory loss. Laws allowing medical and recreational use of marijuana for adults are becoming more common in some states, though not in others. But as a young person with a still-developing brain, marijuana can have a stronger, more harmful effect on you than adults. In fact, research has shown that young people who chronically use marijuana, especially highly potent marijuana, increase their risk of cognitive and memory damage, serious mental illnesses like depression and psychosis, and addiction to alcohol or other drugs in adulthood. Learning the facts can help you make healthy decisions. So say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage marijuana use. To learn more, visit asklistenlearn.org.